There is no us. You're a psychopathic bitch. Arnold has some great one-liners in this film. Welcome to the fifth installment in my James Cameron series of reviews where we're going to be talking about my least favorite James Cameron film, True Lies. Now it's a testament to James Cameron's filmography that my least favorite film of his is one that I still enjoy very much. And this review is going to contain some spoilers. I'm going to try not to spoil the entire movie just in case you haven't seen it because I know it's one of his lesser watched films, but some things are going to get spoiled. I'm going to go into some detail in the plot. So this movie reminds me of Kindergarten Cop in the way that at the beginning of the film, it's all these actual action-packed scenes and it's kind of the same thing where Arnold is a spy and he's been keeping that from his wife for 15 years. The beginning of the movie is him escaping this party and there's all these action-packed scenes as he gets out of there but it kind of fools you a little bit because as we get into the second act and even before that we see that the movie's actually not about that. It's kind of the same way Kindergarten Cop was actually about him being a kindergarten teacher in the end and his relationship with those kids. Well this movie is actually about Arnold's relationship with his wife played by Jamie Lee Curtis and that's kind of where the movie hits its stride for me I think it becomes a much better movie a much funnier movie at that point and it doesn't lose that edge that it has and some really good action sequences later on and as Arnold and Jamie Lee Curtis work on their relationship throughout the movie you just see a really nice chemistry and romance kind of build out of that and it's such a testament to James Cameron as always I love his relationships that he builds in his stories through each of his movies even when he has really limited time to develop them somehow he manages to create something that feels authentic not cringy not superficial I don't know how he does it with such a limited time spent on these relationships and of course it goes without saying that Jamie Lee Curtis gave an amazing performance in this movie it was really cool to see her here I actually forgot she was in this movie but it goes without saying she's an amazing actress and gave a great performance such great chemistry and just everything worked Arnold's partner Albert played by Tom Arnold is so funny in this movie he cracks me up he has such good one-liners and there is a good chemistry between Arnold and his team there's so much good banter there I just love it and Bill Paxton makes an appearance too and he's one of the best parts of this film he is so funny as Arnold's not able to spend as much time at home because of his secret job as a spy he finds out that Jamie Lee Curtis is talking to this mysterious guy who's taking credit for the things Arnold's doing during the day and then we find out that it's Bill Paxton and it makes for one of the funniest scenes Arnold and Bill Paxton are driving around in a convertible Arnold knows that this guy's going after his wife but Bill Paxton's character doesn't know that Arnold knows so they're driving around and he's making all these comments to Arnold and giving him advice on how to go after ladies and using his wife as an example and it's just the way he acts is so funny he's so good in this movie and Arnold's reactions it's just that chemistry I love that scene I think I just wish they would make more movies like this it's so 90s and for some reason they made really good action movies with all this other stuff kind of built into it making it a better movie than just a dumb action movie you like the characters and there's some romance comedy that's actually funny I don't know why they can't make movies like this anymore. I feel like in the 90s, they just knew how to have that perfect balance of comedy, action, love. It's just, it all worked together, and I really miss that. There's so many good one-liners, too. Like, there's a part where Arnold's about to shoot a terrorist off of a rocket on his jet, and he just looks at him and goes, You're fired. I love that. Why can't we get more stuff like that? That's all I want to watch. The action sequences also are great and they utilize a ton of practical effect. There's also this bridge action sequence that never gets talked about. If you haven't seen the film, go on YouTube and at least watch this clip. It's just crazy that they actually set this up and did this. There's multiple scenes like this in the film that are just insane. This film has some of the best action sequences randomly. Like you don't expect it in this movie, but it's crazy good. Some of them are Terminator 2 level. I mean, they actually destroyed a real bridge here, like without CGI. There's a really memorable chase scene where Arnold's riding a horse, chasing a guy on a motorcycle. And for most of it, it looked like Arnold really was riding that horse. And I looked on an interview later and he said that he was for the most part, except for a few shots. But it's funny because when he isn't riding it, it's really obvious. This has some of the worst stunt doubles I've ever seen. There's a part where he's running down a hill and you get a really good look at the stunt double's face and just his his frame and figure it just looks off it's like so obvious I even watch this on DVD because there is no blu-ray release for this movie still in the US for whatever reason there really needs to be one by the way 
And even with the blurriness, it was super obvious. It's almost kind of funny. It reminds me of William Shatner as Captain Kirk and the stunt double coming in and being super obvious. It's kind of funny. I don't care. It's just funny at this point, but I figured I'd throw it out there. Plus, I'm sure he's kind of a hard guy to find a stunt double for. I mean, who can be a stunt double for Arnold? Like, I, I imagine that's not really possible. Kind of like the Conan movies, you could tell he actually got roughed up because they couldn't find a stunt double that would look like him unless it's a real far away shot or something. But anyways, I digress. I really have no complaints with this film other than the fact that I think the first act does drag a little bit. I just tend to enjoy the movie more when it gets into what the plot's really about. I guess that can't even really be a negative. It's kind of setting that up. But I have to say upon rewatch, I might just skip the beginning. That's just personal preference. But really, it's a little bit nitpicky. Overall, I really do enjoy this movie. Yeah, it's my least favorite James Cameron film, but that's because all his films are so amazing and he has the most consistent and awesome filmography. In anyone else's list, this would be one of my top movies. Just to give you an idea of where I'm at with this film. I really do enjoy it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I know it's kind of a less popular movie without even a Blu-ray release for whatever reason. But let me know in the comments if you've seen it before, what did you think? If not, let me know if you're interested in going to check it out. I definitely recommend it. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I've been having a blast talking about all these James Cameron movies. Next up is Titanic. I'm gonna be doing that with my fiance. That's her favorite movie of all time and she knows a lot about it. I think we'll have a great conversation. I'm really excited to do that with her so definitely stay tuned for that be sure to leave a comment subscribe and let me know what did you think of this film anyway talk to you later see ya